Good morning, garden friends. Today is another maintenance day for zone two. Uh, like I said, I work a full-time job and the only way I can keep my massive garden in order is I have to do it in zones. So today, zone two is going to consist of this back garden area and it will continue all the way through here and what i'm going to be doing is deadheading weeding and also planting some perennials back in this area to give more color so come along with me while we go ahead and get this knocked out this is the area that i'm going to be working in and as you see got tons of sticks not too bad on the weeding because i do take care of it but anything that needs to be deadheaded i will probably go ahead and snip these uh rebeculas these denver daisies i got some leaves on my hostas that i'm gonna trim up and looks like also on my hydrangeas just to have it nice and clean now these guys i'm gonna be moving and putting them in my white container over there because I don't like how these guys are looking. I like them nice and full. So I think they are also getting too much sun. Um, but then I also have some Black Eyed Susie's that I'm actually, I have three of them, that I'm going to be planting today because like I said, I'm trying to have more back here with the greenery and then i got two more black-eyed susans here like i said just cleaning up uh, i have a linton rose back there that i need to clean up it was one that was already blooming uh, when i did the first this here is getting ready to be my big project. Uh, like I said, I'm thinking this is not getting enough sun. That is why my lamb's ear is doing what it's doing. So I'm going to clean this out and probably put something else there that can handle, you know, some sun, but not too much sun and the same for this one so this is the portion that makes up zone two that i will be taking care of today okay so the first thing that i'm going to do over here in zone two is all the impatience i'm gonna dig up um and like i said i'm gonna put them in my other container over here and plant some of these black eyed Susie's add a little more color to this area but at the same time plant my perennials and be done with it so like I said I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys dug up and just put them in my wheelbarrow here uh, so that when I do get down to that section I'll be able to put those in I can split them <laughs> so I can get more plants placed in here. Perfect. So now I got two. Put one there, put one here. And I got my <laughs> my auger to just make this a whole lot easier. Um, two, I'm gonna put some extra topsoil in here. 
along with the food. like to do is just go ahead and get all of my holes dug but I have to be a little careful because over here we do have the roots from the crepe myrtle and also my draining that runs underneath here planet bring some topsoil over and then my premium continuance release proven winter food and I'm only doing like a half a scoop nice little pop of color back here even though I love my hydrangeas and my hostas and my hellebros once those guys are done blooming it's just strictly green but I do have variations of green which make it nice but just thought having the pop of the black eyed Susie's back here would just look really nice all right so let's move on to the next area Okay, so one of the things that I did was um, in my front area over here, I did have like, let me show you. Like in these holes here, I did have um, my hoogras in there, but it was getting too much sun. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the black eyed Susie's in there. But then let me show you where I'm going to plant the hoogras because, like I said, they're supposed to be like a dark burgundy. But I think because it's getting way too much sun, it's burning. So let me show you. Okay, so this will be the area that I'm going to put them. And this is actually where I had the impatience. And as you know, impatience prefer less sun and then two I think it'll look nice as a contrast against my pots because uh, I already got two little small ones in here that are doing well so I'll go ahead and get those guys planted let's go ahead and get these holes dug get the holes dug for the black eyed Susie's <laughs> So, I had initially thought I was just going to dig out the lamb's ear and uh, put something else in place of it, but was doing some research. Um, even though I do thin these guys out, because they end up being so hardy, I need to thin them out even more so. So, spread them out a little further so that there is more air circulation going through here. And then hopefully that will rectify this moldy stuff that looks like it's eating them up. And I'm gonna build the ground up a little bit too so it's not so directly on the ground. So let's go ahead and like I said, pull off the stuff that's no good and then replant them. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get the lamb's ear dug out. And then I'm going to go ahead and get all of the dead 
stuff off as I stated and then build the mound up with some dirt and then replant these guys so hopefully that will allow more air circulation even with us getting a lot of rain so I got my umbrella up because it is rather warm today yeah because the roots are so intertwined just going to be real careful about pulling those out why it's sort of hard because I do have blocker down here those guys are all out and now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and clip off any of the dead stuff oh let me bring the camera down okay so anything with those yellow spots on them I'm going to remove that way it won't spread and that needs to come off too. And then you see I got nice roots on there. And then what makes these uh, so easy to work with, I mean, because their root system is so massive, um, you could pretty much cut it anywhere to disconnect it and you will still end up having growth. And then as I clean these guys off, you can see what I mean about just having that nice, healthy look to the plant so that uh, it can flourish again. But yeah, I do think um, by me separating these out, thinning them out, is going to help a lot. And then it'll allow more air circulation for these guys. Because see, this is one thing about the, the lamb's ear. As you can see, you have your longer shoots, but what ends up happening is when it gets so thick, these guys are trying to push their way up and can't. So, like I said, I'm going to be a little bit more um, on top of thinning these, these guys out so that it does not end up suffocating. Now there are some that I won't be able to do anything with. I still have enough to where as long as there is roots, these babies will take off. Then you see how the root system is, how it grows a long way. So, like I said, get the roots really nice and clean, and any of the ones that are like all compacted down there, just that one, and don't have the yellowing. Yeah, this is what I mean. <clears throat> you see how that jello? I, I can't salvage anything on it. 
I mean, guys, this is the only way I would ever be able to maintain my garden um, by doing it in zones. Uh, with me working full time, my husband and I doing all of the construction work and, and me also maintaining all of this um, garden, doing it in zones makes the only sense in me staying on top of it and keeping uh, the weeds to the bare minimal and, and what have you. And then this is the thing too. Uh, anytime you guys end up transplanting uh, plants, if you get it into the ground as quickly as possible, then that shock won't happen to them, you know? So um, that's one of the things that once I get done weeding out the ones that I wanna keep, then I'm gonna go ahead and get them in the ground, add some mulch, topsoil to help uh, loosen up the clay and then it not be as moist because um, Ellen Von Steens can handle dry, you know, soil, you know, not like bone dry, but it doesn't like it to be wet. And I think that is the contributing factor to why I was having that uh, mold on, on these. So. Uh, like I said, I'll go ahead and get the area prepared so I can go ahead and get these guys planted. Then mulch and zone two will be finished. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get the topsoil mixed in here. Like I said, I want this more of a mounded area so that the leaves are not um, touching the, the malt once I put it down. some of these lamb's ear put in here. Uh, I'm not gonna do all of them because uh, I wanna make sure I have enough space so they have good air circulation. Plus I picked up some vines in the clearance section that uh, I'm going to also be planting back here. And then one thing about the lamb's ear, I'm not putting any fertilizer in here because they're usually really easy uh, for taking, but next week when I do my complete garden feed, I will get that taken care of. Like I said, you got the nice roots and I'm going to be planting it a good
done and like I said I have some plants that I'm going to put in here that I got off of the clearance from uh, Lowe's to add like another layer back here. Let me go ahead and get the malt put down and then zone two will be done. Okay, zone two is all finished. And like I had said with my Helen Bonstein, I uh, was able to clean up some and put it over here with my hostas. Summer. 